Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying a Spanish dish, Puerto Rican dish, arroz con condulas. This is a recipe I found on Pinterest by Kitchen Gidget. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to add our vegetable oil, three tablespoons, as well as the amazing sofrito. So it's going to be two heaping tablespoons of sofrito that we're putting in it. I didn't mention before, but they recommended to use a medium-sized pot um, or a medium caldero. And this is something similar that my mom had, so I brought it. <laughs> so you're going to saute your sofrito until it's softened with the oil. And you'll add four ounces of tomato sauce. I bought an eight ounce can, didn't find a four ounce. So I basically just poured half of the tomato sauce into the pot. We must merely make a shot. After you add in your alcaparado, I think I'm saying it right, correct me if I'm wrong, you're going to add your gondolas, so 15 ounces of it, and pour it in your pot, give it a nice stir, and this is a Goya brand that I bought. Next is the spices, so it's garlic powder, cumin, um, oregano, so we're going to pour it into our pot, so let it sizzle again, and then off to the rice. Just begun. We will always take a stand for the people, for the land. Let's go back to when we were young. For the animals we stand. Let's go back. And now that you have all your remaining spices added to the pot, you're going to bring it to a rapid boil. Um, this is getting it prepared for your rice that you will pour into the pot. And before you um, do anything with rice, always wash your rice because you want to remove any excess starch that's on your rice. time to add the rice and guys I was very excited to follow this recipe and go. use it because I'm Jamaican so I cook a lot of Jamaican food and I wanted to you know incorporate other cuisines and my husband is part Puerto Rican so I said why not try some Puerto Rican um, dishes so this is going to be added to my um, list of recipes to use in the future. So I'm adding the rice to it and what you're going to do is give it a good stir and you're going to wash, not wash, watch your rice because you may need to add a little more water after it starts to cook because the rice is going to soak up the water. recipe they said to carefully mound rice towards center of the pot and then you're gonna top it with foil and then cover your lid reduce your heat to simmer and cook for about 20 minutes um, and then you're doing the folding method of when you're stirring the rice from the bottom up um, and then you'll cook for another like 20 or 30 minutes I'm gonna burn all the bridges between us I can't focus. I can't 
it's been about 20 minutes um, after I um, put everything and mounted it into the middle. <laughs> I have to take a little try so to see how it tastes. So this race, yeah, I, I was trying to get it together here, but mm, mm, mm -hmm, that's exactly what I said right there. Mm, 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 so good. Mm -hmm. I just need to clear my head. I just need to. following the recipe for arroz con angules. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So stay tuned. You'll see if it's a flop or not. My family will give you the answers. Thanks for watching, guys. Really good Spanish dish so we'll see how it tastes all right so i'm gonna go in for the rice now okay this is definitely the rice right here mm -hmm. it's like a good spanish rice like some rice that you would get from a spanish restaurant Very flavorful, very tasty. It's not dry, has just the perfect amount of moistness. So it has a great texture. And it's a, it's a perfect balance of rice and seasoning. Um, so overall, this is a great dish. I'm gonna take off a piece of chicken right now. I'm gonna eat it with the rice and see how that combo goes. So. Get a little bit of that that skin right there. It's always good to get a little bit of that chicken skin. So let's get a little piece of that chicken skin. Oh yeah, that's good. Chicken's good. Oh yeah. So I got some chicken skin. I got a piece of chicken. So what I'm gonna do is give what it up a little in? bit of rice. Mm. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. That, that is a delicious bite right there. Yep. Two thumbs up. Hey. Very good meal. Good job, baby. Thank you. No doubt. Mm. Not a flop. Not a flop? Not a flop. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, mommy, this is arroz con gondules. <laughs> Puerto Rican rice. That's what it's called? Mm -hmm. Hello. Welcome. I'm so glad to meet y'all. I'm Lori. Come on, Hey. It's good. Just, mm. just like the rice. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit on the salty side, but we got it after his promotion. Mm -hmm. It's really tastes good. Right the rice is shelly in. So in the recipe, they said, or she said, or he said, um, it should have like a salty flavor to oh, it. Okay. Um, but I mean not overly salty, so it's, it's not, not over. Salty. Okay, because it's supposed to taste like seasoned. Mm -hmm. Daddy, taste it. It's good. It's really good, Tisha. Thank you. Not a flop. Mm. Nikki's messing up. Mm -hmm. No, it's not no gunk. <laughs> yeah, good with me. That's pigeon peas. Pigeon peas, yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys call it gunga? Yeah, oh. That is touchy. Don't be coming to my house to break bread and think you're going to stir shit up. Okay. It's like Spanish food. Mm hmm. Spanish, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Well, we're using it. Nobody wants to talk about it. Sofritos. Well, I'm curious. Um, 
It's like olives. I can't. Right. I don't know how to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah. It's very good. Okay. Thank you. Not a flop. No. 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 Well, Daddy, I thought you said you can't eat after six, but you know what? Both. Something is good. You just gotta dive into it. Hey. All right. Thank you, guys. I don't need no piece of meat with it. All right, later. He likes it. Mm -hmm, he loves it. Good. Okay, good.